got, no, hold don't. on, I've got something else for you. And I don't know when these started, but they went forever. If they're even still going now, I have no idea. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Well, so tell us about those, man. When did they start? Why not forever? You know, yeah, right. I, you were like I, the voice of my childhood, man. The the freaking cereal commercial that came on, and then PBS. That's all we watch. You know, it was like Sesame Street. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, you know, okay, this is the time I walked in for a political spot and it was the very last minute and there was a nice 22 or 23 year old young lady who was the producer. And I said, hi, I'm Harlan Hogan. She said, hi, you know, my father. I said, oh, kill, kill me now. You know, <laughs> I've worked for her father for years listen, out at Arthur Anderson. <laughs> you know, so I guess it's part of getting old. Huh? Listen, when you <laughs> meet like a, a, you know, a nice young lady, that's the first thing you want to hear. You remind me of my father. You know my father. You are you my father? Yeah, like a, yeah. No, you you work with my father. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, how is you? You're afraid to say how's your dad, but um, yeah, I mean stuff like that you do, and just uh, I did that through New York, and uh, I they still use some of those. I don't. I, you don't. You get a residual on that stuff, but that you know that ran a lot. And uh, it's good because, you know, your clients hear that. Is that you on the thing? Actually, you know, I was talking about the games uh, because DC was talking about it. And, and early on, particularly here, there was not a lot of it. But there would, you would do some parts on a game and have no idea the character's name or anything. You just recorded it. And then somebody, I could, when I was on, where a woman wrote to me that her child really loved that character and, and, and he was ill. And could I send him a Christmas card? <laughs> I mean, you know, how sweet Yikes. is that? Yeah. 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 I didn't charge her much, but, um, <laughs> scale, <laughs> <laughs> but Alistar, which is on League of legends, he's a minotaur and then basically stood here in the booth and went, yeah. I, mean, I didn't know any, anything about it until my son, Jamie, who's 38 called me up. He said, dad, are you Alistar? I said, who's Alistar League of legends. Oh, is that the character's name? Yeah. I said, I knew that was you. I said, how could you know it was me? I just growl and I grunt and say about three words. Dad, I'm your son. <laughs> I've, been, I've been listening to you growl and grunt for 38 years. <laughs> yeah. All those mornings, get out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you know, listen, people make a good living doing uh, animal sounds and all that other kind of yeah. nonsense. Yeah. How did yeah, you amazing. How did you land these? How did you land PBS and... Uh, I mean, was this stuff through an agent? You know, this was this was before I was even around, so I had to even yeah, get it—the well, life that thing was, and all that. Yeah, that was a New York agent, you know, who's still my agent in New York, Chaz at Access, and I uh, said, "Hey, I got some PBS stuff for you." It wasn't even an audition, and uh, knocked out three or four of those. Brought to you by the corporation. Thank you. Blah 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 blah. And uh, I've done some other PBS stuff that's been nice longer. Than